Hey, what's up, guys? This is a quick review of uh, Backfitters. Um, we did this tub uh, September 2016, and now is January 2018. So it's about a year and a few months, year and a half. We've had it, and it's um, held up quite nice. Um, we got it because uh, we tend to bathe my two-year-old daughter in the tub. So we fill it up with foam, fill it up with soapy water, and then put her in there. But before then, when she was one... Um, before she turned two, uh, we had a like, little tub in there that we'd fill with water and then bathe her inside that bathtub for infants or babies or whatever. So um, we tend to clean this every day when we put water in it for her. So it's been it's held up very well. Uh, it's a hard plastic. There's the uh, bat fitter logo there. Um, the installer did a really great job. He actually recaught... Um, resealed the um the new tub and this went over an older tub um that was really old um so he put this over and then resealed it against the tiles the tiles were already done before so it held up pretty well he also caulked down there he did a really good job in caulking the only thing was we used to have a shower door and in removing the shower door some of the tiles cracked so you have to keep that in mind if you're doing a bad fitness the shower door have to come off because these new tubs um, even if you do want to keep a shower door, you have to reinstall a brand new shower door, reinstall the shower door over the um, tub. So, um, the shoe went over the old, um, the old thing. We had an old system where it was like a pipe that you pull up to um, lock, I guess, lock the um, seal the tub. So what he did was, I think he just um, he kept that, but just put a shoe on top of it. So you push that down and push it up. Um, this is just, uh, watermarks, because the pipe, we have a leaky faucet here, and I'm actually about to, um, do some work in here. I'm gonna uh, replace our peerless shower head, we've had that for a while, so I'm gonna replace that with a new one. <laughs> we've had that since 2007, so it's been 10 years of, um, duty, and it's, it's holding up pretty good, the only thing is now it's getting old and it's leaking. And I think that's why uh, we've been getting the stain there. But other than that, the tub is really, really good. Um, really clean installation. Um, considering our um, bathroom, our building is built in the 1950s. So um, the tile work is new. We did the tile work in 2007. Um, but there you go. You see the um, parts where the shower, old shower door was. And... Um, and it still shows, I mean, that's the only thing, but th it's not the bad fitter installation installer's fault. I mean, it's just the way the shardo was put on by our um, contractor years ago. And it's, the shardo wasn't there for about 10 years before, well, nine years before we took it off. So you can still see some, some of that. We may actually put a shower door back in. The only thing is, is when we bathe my daughter, the shower door system kind of gets in the way of there. So I'm gonna step back to show you guys the tub. It's a really clean job. I believe my wife wanted this, and funny enough, we saw them at um, 4th of July Fireworks um, Festival in uh, Pokwa, New York, upstate New York, about an hour upstate. They had like a little stand at the um, summer fair, summer festival, and uh, my wife was interested in it. I think this setup, there's different variations of it, but we got just the basic one, and this cost about, mm, I think, 17 Seventeen hundred, seventeen eighty, and you can do a payment plan where you paid off like ninety dollars a month or a hundred dollars a month, something like that. She did, so really, really happy with this. Like I said, we didn't opt to keep our shower door, install a new shower door, so um, we do have that line there, but it's fine because we have a shower curtain that goes down over everything, and um, the tile work was done before, and I was worried about the tile work getting damaged by him putting a tub in. But it's very quick. I wasn't even home when they installed it. I think it came in the middle of the day. I was at work. Um, and he, my wife said he did a really good, good job, really quick. Um, bought the tub in um, and everything like that. The only thing is, the only issue uh, I would say is make sure the tub you have. And I think this is going to be evaluated that comes to your house before to tell you. Um, that's very important, what you had there before. Because remember, the tub is going over your um, old drain. And they have to put a shoe in there. So that might make it a bit more expensive because that's something I don't know if they do. You may have to call a plumber in to do that to correct your um, your drain system. And like I said, we had the oldest version of the drain system. So it was a little bit more complicated, but he did manage to put a shoe over it or whatever they call it. 
So that's that. I mean, the tub looks good after a year and a half of um, being in here. We use it every day, obviously. And um, we made my daughter in there. So it's been kept very, very clean. It's a little dirty today because I'm going to replace replacing some of this stuff that's leaking. Um, we have a leaky pipe. Um, and the only thing is with the leaky pipes, we go on vacation in the wintertime and the water isn't running through. So when we come home after two weeks, it um, tends to get uh, frozen and stuff. So... Um, from not running. So that's it guys. This is my review of the Bat Fitter. I don't know what model number this is. Um, but it's the Bat Fitter um, tub. And what they do is, uh, if you're not familiar, they come into your house and just put a plastic, not a plastic, but like a fiberglass kind of mold over your tub. And Evaluator comes first to evaluate and measure everything. And then they custom design it and put it over your tub. And they're about... I think fifteen hundred to two, three thousand dollars, depending on what you want. Um, they also do a wall that comes up, so you could do like if we, our tiles were old, we could have done the window would have been an issue, I think, but you could have just done a sheet that comes up with the tub, like the fiberglass or plastic sheet that comes all the way up to the ceiling. So and um, and that's it, guys. That's um, that's our bathroom, and that's the my review of the bath fitter tub. I give it five out of five stars. Um. To replace the top that we had, I think our contractor told us it was going to be very expensive because of the way our building, the age of our building was one of the factors as well as, um, I think the tub we had was a really old, uh, really heavy tub to pull out, uh, out of here. And it would have been like five, six thousand dollars or something like that to do it. So, which is why when we redid the tiles in the whole bathroom, we never, we did the sink as well. We never re, we never, we left the old tub in there because it was just going to, double the cost of renovating the bathroom but the bat fitters they came in did a really good job um it's a little water stain from my daughter's shampoo there but that's that that'll come right out so anyway that's it guys bye just realized i was installing a new shower head and the washer from the old shower fell out i know amelia you're gonna go swimming in a minute it fell in there and I was trying to get it out, I couldn't, but my wife pointed out that you could remove the shoe that they put in, the bat fitters put in, real easy. And there's a lot of hair in there, you could just clear it right out, which is really cool. So I don't know if you could see underneath there, it's the old tub drain. So it's really cool that you have this thing where it's real easy to... Uh... So what I did was I just doing a reverse, just screwing this back in. And so I'm just screwing it back in there, guys, and it's real easy to do. So if you have uh, issues with uh, stuff getting stuck in there, the back fitter's shoe allows you to go in there, and then there's a cap. I didn't even know this was there. <laughs> That's how um, good it looks. It just looks blends right in. And you screw the cap back in, and I think uh, this is, you know you gotta catch the thread. Yeah, so once you catch the thread, you just turn that to tighten it. And, and there you go. <laughs> so if you need to, anything gets stuck in it, it's really easy to open that up and get it, which is ingenious. I love that they have that there. And that's it. That, that's the only addition. I only thought about this after. I only realized that this ha it had that feature after I was um, something actually got stuck in there and I had to um, get it out. So, uh, all right, bye.